firm in Buffalo. Usually when someone says they did a year somewhere, they're talking about prison, which basically describes Milwaukee. Uh, just so you know, here in the fine print at asterisk mark one, uh, life means in prison <laughs> forever. And um, you understood the nature of the uh, offense the state had charged. Um, you did the research, you identified a defense, you put it on, you got your client acquitted. And then you kind of basically, in my opinion, you, you washed your hands and said, case closed. Why is everybody trying to make so much more of this case than they were? Is that Richards' phone ringing in the background? That's great. <laughs> um, after that, I met Lynn Wood. Um, yeah, what, what in the world was up with him? Um, I, I, he was everywhere for a while. I never heard of the guy. I don't know where he is now. Um, you know, I feel a he's still bit, calling me and bothering me if that helps. Um. I, I feel about him. You know, I, I used to think Sid. My phone was ringing five minutes ago. If you remember, that was actually Lynn. He's got me on speed dial now trying to get my two million dollars represented. He was a bad guy, mm -hmm. but he was not guilty of what he was charged with. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a tough um, spot. He was ahead, yeah. supposedly and probably um, of one of the local street gangs back in the early nineties who was pro was wreaking a lot of havoc on the community. <laughs> <laughs> he had to do that on purpose. Who had I, that bingo card? I know who he had did that it. card. He had to have listened to everybody loving him saying havoc. And, and he had to throw that. He was wreaking. You havoc. prompted that Nick, you bastard. You texted him. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my gosh.